Hi there, we're back taking a look at another past question. This one's a paper two question for AQA A Level Business, a nine mark question on a case study business called Zani. So let's take a look at the question. The price elasticity of demand for Zani PLC's products has a value of minus 0.4. Analyze reasons why the price elasticity of demand for Zani PLC's products might have this value, minus 0.4. Okay, right. Well, clearly, this question is about price elasticity of demand, or PED. So don't write that down uh, too often. The long words, that is. Use PED. Um, and also, why is it? What reasons might there be in terms of what the business does, what it sells, uh, who its customers are? Why might the elasticity number be minus 0.4, which is basically inelastic demand, isn't it? So a percentage change in price would have a lower percentage change in quantity demanded, for example. So we have to analyze reasons. So the examiner says, analyze the reasons why. So we're looking for two reasons here and uh, focusing on this inelastic demand. Well, quick reminder about Zani. Uh, it's a, uh, a high quality jewelry retailer with a strong brand reputation. And I guess most importantly, it's doing well and it's selling luxury products. So we can use that to help provide some context to uh, provide an examiner with two reasons why uh, demand might be price inelastic, minus 0.4. So I've had a go at answering this. You might want to have a go yourself. A slightly different structure to this one. I would actually start with just a sentence that basically demonstrates to the examiner that we know what minus 0.4 implies, because we don't want to be repeating that in both paragraphs, and then go on to provide the two reasons that uh, support uh, based on the case study, why it is, or suggested is, price inelastic. So I start by saying the value of naught, minus 0 0.4 in, tells us that the PED for Zani's jewellery is price inelastic. We don't need to repeat that every time. But what does that mean? Well, it means that the percentage change in quantity demanded would be lower than, than the percentage change in price. For example, if uh, Zani increased the price by 10%, the quantity demanded would fall by 4%. Anyway, we've set the scene for our two reasons why. So what we now need to do is provide two short paragraphs, I think, just explaining two different reasons why. Here's my first. And it's just a pecan paragraph, a short one. So one reason for minus 0 0.4 is that Zani's customers have high incomes and therefore their demand is not particularly sensitive to changes in price. For example, if a Zani customer wants to buy jewellery such as a diamond a diamond necklace or fine watch, they are likely to have the income to pay for such items, whatever the price, and most will not be dissuaded by a price increase of, say, 10%. So uh, that's a, a little piece of application there, some such as seasoning. So that particular reason is rooted in this situation of Zani, the jewellery retailer, buying products such as a diamond necklace or a fine watch. So that's one reason, isn't it? That's one reason why it might be not minus uh, 0 0.4, but we need two. So here's my second. Another reason for minus 0 0.4 is that Zani is a well-known brand and likely to enjoy some brand loyalty. So Zani has a strong brand reputation, and this is evidenced by the opening of 16 stores. It's likely that each Zani store has built a regular customer base in addition to winning demand from customers buying jewellery for special occasions, such as engagements and anniversaries. Such customers are more likely to want to continue buying from Zani stores, particularly if they've had a good experience. By wanting to remain loyal to the Zani brand, they are, less, they are likely to be less sensitive to an increase in prices. So brand loyalty, the classic situation where you are less sensitive to price. Therefore, changes in price have a, a lower impact on quantity demanded. And again, a little bit of application in there. We've drawn from the case study. We're told it has a strong brand, brand reputation and a bit of such as seasoning, special occasions such as engagements and anniversaries. Lots of other reasons why you might go into a Zani store, but it seemed to me those were two good examples of where customers are not going to be particularly sensitive to price. There we go. Hopefully that's useful. I reckon that meets the demands of that question. Hopefully I'll be in the level three, seven to nine marks for that one. What do you think?
and let me know in the comments box what you think of that answer. Cheers.